Hey everyone, welcome back to the GitHub Action series. Today, we are diving into one of the most important parts of building secure and flexible CI CD pipelines in GitHub Actions secrets and environment variables. Whether you are deploying to the cloud, pushing to Docker, or running tests, you'll need to understand how to use these securely and efficiently. Let's get started. Firstly, What's the difference between environment variables and secrets in GitHub Actions? Environment variables are basic values passed into jobs or steps, and these are not encrypted. Whereas secrets are sensitive values like API keys, tokens, passwords, etc. These are encrypted at rest and in transit. So we need to use environment variables for things like app names, regions, or config flags and use secrets for things like GitHub tokens, API keys, and passwords. So how to define environment variables? Let's look at the three levels of using environment variables in a workflow. The first is the global at the very top level. So if you are adding your environment variables, for example, here I have added this region as US East one at the very top, like before our jobs even, then this particular environment variable will be accessible in all your steps and also in all your jobs. So we should use this one when this particular environment variable is needed in like multiple jobs. The next is at a job level. So in this one, we can add it inside our jobs. So for example, here I have again used the same environment variable as an example. So this particular environment variable will be accessible to all the steps in this particular job. If there is some step that is a part of some other job, then this particular environment variable will not be accessible. Next is the step level. So in this one, we are defining our environment variables inside a particular step. So this environment variable will be accessible only to this step. And even like there is some other step on this particular job, even then this environment variable will not be accessible. So why do you use these environment variables? You use these to make your workflow cleaner. And if there is some environment variable that is like used multiple times, you should definitely use it. Next, we have secrets. So firstly, let's see how we can add secrets in GitHub Actions. And then we will see how we can use these GitHub secrets into our work. So for that, I'll first go to my repository. And over here, you can see a few options. So at the very last, there is this settings options. And if your window is like a smaller and you are not seeing the securities options, you just need to click into these three dots and then you will see this settings option. And even then, if you are not seeing this settings option, that means you do not have required privileges or required access to view this settings panel. So you can raise a ticket in your organization on or ask your manager how to get, get this access. So let's click on it. Okay. So now here you can see a few options at the left and what we are interested in is the secrets and the variables one. So I'll click on this one and here I will click on actions and we have two options. One is manage environment secrets. We will talk about this one later. Now let's first add a repository secret to do that. All you need to do is click on this option and here I'll enter the name of the secret as as Heroku API key. And in the value, I'll add some random value for now. So I'll enter as test secret is the value of the secret. I'll click on add secret. And as you can see here, the secret is added. Now, if you want to delete this secret, you can use this delete option. Or if you want to edit the value of the secret, then just click on this option and you can do that. So now we know how to add a secret in GitHub Actions. Now let's see how we can use this secret into our workflow. So here I have an example step. This is how we can use a secret. So this is how we can use a secret in our work. So as you can see here, I have added this Heroku API key or to access the secret or access the value of the secret and assign it to this Heroku API key. What we need to do is we need to add this dollar sign and then these parentheses and then secrets dot and exactly the name of the secret that we had just defined. So here, so here in this case, it was Heroku API key and then we close these parentheses. So now once we have defined this as a variable here, we can now try to echo this or use this in our workflow. Okay. So let's try to add this step to our workflow and try to echo this Heroku API key and let's see what happens. So let's go to our VS code and then here I'll switch to a new branch. I'm naming the branch as secrets 
and I'll copy this very first workflow, create a new file, secrets.yaml and paste all this. Okay, so now I'll rename this as secrets and it will work on every push, looks good. And on this very first step, what I will do is I will add my secret here. To do that, I'll add environment and then inside that Heroku API key. Then I'll follow the same syntax. I'll add here eco Heroku API key and then our API key that is dollar and this variable. Okay, so now what it should do is it should get our secrets and the value was just a test secret and we should be seeing this logged in our GitHub Actions log when this workflow runs. So I'll save it and I'll push this code and create a new PR. Okay, I'll create a new PR now. So I'll go to PRs, compare and pull. I'll keep the name as secrets and I'll create a new PR. Okay, so seems like our secrets job is done. So let's see our runner script thing where we should be seeing our Heroku API key. So now here you can see three stars instead of the value of our secret. This is like completely intended. And why it is? Because we do not want our secret to be exposed in our logs, right? So this is something that GitHub Actions does. If we have a secrets value and it is being logged anywhere, then it masks it with stars but still as a caution we should not try to like directly log any of our secrets as a good practice but yeah the value of the secret will be accessible to any of your steps the only thing is that it will not be logged so there are some best practices when using secrets so secrets we should only use for sensitive values and not like any environment variables or anything else and then also we should rotate our secrets periodically just to be safe and we should never echo our secrets into logs even though it masks it but yeah like if there are spaces in between or slashes like you can manipulate the string and you will be able to log the secrets so the best practice is just never log those secrets limit secret scopes to individual repos or environments and we should use organization secrets if the secrets are shared across multiple repos this is something that you need to worry if you are handling multiple repos in your organization and that's it in this video I have showed you how you can use environment variables and secrets in your GitHub Actions. Now in the next video, what we will do is we will deploy this application to Heroku and then we will add that deployment directly to GitHub Actions as a complete pipeline. So then you will be using a secret that should not be leaked and you will be adding a workflow that deploys your code whenever you merge to your main branch so subscribe for that next upcoming github actions video and if you got any questions just drop them in the comments and like the video if it helped you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one